Girls night. Woo! What's up guys, Jared here, and I'm back! Just kidding, I didn't go anywhere silly. So I just got to see Rough Night. This movie was surprisingly entertaining, and I have two words for you. Girls night, wine time, squad goals, floor duh, cocaine, threesomes, penis straws, scar, Joe! No, but seriously, this movie had a lot more laughs than I was expecting. So from the trailers and promotions, you can kind of piece together that this is a classic bride-to-be, goes on a wild and crazy bachelorette party, and all sorts of hijinks go down. This movie felt like bridesmaids got into a relationship with The Hangover, but it was an open relationship and they invited Weekend at Bernie's over. Never thought you'd see a Weekend at Bernie's trilogy. Anyways, the cast of women in this movie was fantastic. Scarlett Johansson, Zoe Kravis, Ilana Glazer, Jillian Bell, and Kate Kate McKinnon. Kate McKinnon kills it again. It's established that they're all college friends and they're gonna be friends forever. Nope. Flash forward 10 years and everyone's in a completely different stage of life. You know, running for political office, being a middle school teacher, one's divorced, or, uh, being a hipster, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's so much like real life. But they all come together for this wild and crazy bachelorette weekend. And things go horribly wrong. Things really get off the rails when they decide to do drugs and then order a male stripper. The stripper shows up and things get uh, heated. Woo! Ooh, oops, oops, sorry, 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 sorry. As the stripper's doing his thing, Alice, Jillian Bell's character, gets too handsy, jumps on the stripper and... No, no, why? He's dead. The rest of the film is a series of hilarious events of them trying to deal with what has happened. Trying to hide the body and a few unexpected plot points. All while the women are dealing with their own shenanigans, the groom's group is having a wild bachelor party of their own. I'm using wild as a loose term. It shows them at a personalized wine tasting party with classical music lightly playing in the background. Mmm, I smell hints of oak in this one. The tannin gives it a bitter but earthy flavor. This one tastes like nostalgia. It's funny to see the roles reversed in this one. Rather than having the guys be the ones getting all wild and crazy, they're portrayed as squares or losers. At one point in the movie, there's a misunderstanding and the groom-to-be decides he needs to get to Miami as soon as possible. His bachelor party friends are helping him find travel arrangements. One suggests a flight leaving the next morning, the other suggests a train leaving in a few hours, and then Bo Burnham's character chimes in with, What about the sad astronaut? What the heck is the sad astronaut? Oh, I'll tell ya. Lisa Marie Nowak was a NASA astronaut who flew aboard Space Shuttle Discovery in 2006. She became romantically involved with fellow astronaut William Ophelian. Ophelian then broke it off and started seeing Colleen Shipman, who was a U.S. Air Force captain. Not happy with this, Nowak drove 900 miles from Houston to Orlando to kidnap Shipman. Nowak wore adult diapers during this trip, allowing herself to drive without having to stop. The sad astronaut. The best part about this is the slow motion montage of them buying adult diapers and Red Bull set to gangster rap that soon follows. I was quite surprised by this movie and overall I enjoyed it. It's not a perfect movie, but the cast and the writing was both entertaining and funny. And the humor really got me. I'd say it's one of the better comedies this year. It follows some familiar tropes, but if you can get past those, I think you'll really enjoy it. What'd you think of Rough Night? Was it the crazy out of control penis joke telling bachelorette party movie you were hoping for? Or did this movie leave you on a curb crying, holding your hair extensions with a dead phone and no possible way of getting home? Essentially how every bachelorette party ends. I want to hear about it in the comments down below. As always, you can find me on the social medias at Jared Buckendall on both Twitter and Instagram. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Until next time, I'll see you later.